Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Now, let me ask you something. Let's talk about R. Kelly, the musician. Now, let me ask you something. Do you feel comfortable with all the allegations in R. Kelly's alleged history? Uh, you know, the weirdo shit he's done with women. Do you feel comfortable listening to his music? Can you actually listen to an R. Kelly song now? Can you play an R. Kelly song on the radio? Because I know they've been campaigning for them to stop playing his music on the radio and whatnot, you know, based off these allegations. Now, I hear that they're running an investigation in Georgia. Now, keep in mind, the A's of consent in Georgia is 17, if I'm not mistaken. That's why Rob Lowe really didn't get in trouble when he made that alleged sex tape because, well, it wasn't an alleged sex tape. It was him. And it happened in Atlanta, and the age of consent was... 17 in Georgia. I think, and I think in, in South Carolina or maybe West Virginia, I think the age of consent is 16. So um, that's going to be sketchy trying to build a case against him out there in Georgia. But nevertheless, man, uh, R. Kelly, man, you just have to ask yourself, can you play his songs now? How do you feel when you hear an R. Kelly song? Come on now. That's the question that I ask. I have to admit, R. Kelly made a lot of great songs. To me, I feel he had a better catalog than actually Michael Jackson as a solo artist. And I just got to keep it 100. If you want to go by who made better material as a solo artist, look, Michael Jackson had Thriller and Off the Wall, but R. Kelly had dozens of great songs. I mean, R. Kelly had great albums, you know, and I wouldn't, even though Thriller sold a shitload of records, I wouldn't exactly say it was a great album. It was a pop album, you know, I mean, it was a good album, but it's not the greatest R&B album ever made. Most people believe the greatest R&B album ever made is What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. They believe that's one of them, you know. But nevertheless, how do you feel about R. Kelly now? Because they are petitioning to get his songs removed from the radio and asking radio stations not to play his music anymore. So like I said, this shit is about to get real sticky for R. Kelly. He's about to be in a very sticky and funky situation, as the Commodores would say. But do you feel comfortable listening to R. Kelly songs now when they come on the radio or if somebody play R. Kelly now? Is he sort of like, well, basically Eminem? Because like I said, nobody plays Eminem in the streets. You know, people only listen to Eminem when they buy their sale, to be honest with you. So, you know, is R. Kelly a guy you can only listen to now when you buy yourself? Can you play R. Kelly amongst people based off these allegations against him? That's the question. Now, one of my subs pointed out that R. Kelly was also trying to basically get control of his music. I guess it's publishing, man. That that I keep trying to tell you that publishing thing is a big deal when it comes to music, owning the rights to your music, your publishing. Because that's really how you make the money, you know, when you get off record labels and stuff, is the publishing you know, basically owning the rights to your songs. Like basically if your song is featured in a movie, they have to send you a check, not the record label. And that happens a lot with these record companies. Most of these artists do not own their own publishing. Now, eventually you make and own your own reels where that's okay to a certain degree. Basically you can take your reels to, you know, uh, second party record labels and they can release them under a greatest hits album or the best of all that type of shit. And you could do that. But the publishing is where the money is at. You know, that's how you make extra money. 
you know, you want to own your publishing, your songwriter credits. So some people believe that might be the reason why they started going after R. Kelly. It's sort of like the thing with Bill Cosby. When they found out Bill Cosby was interested in buying NBC, then that's when it all started. Now, I remember some idiot tried to say, well, Bill Cosby is only worth $400 million. Um, That's... <laughs> Dude, I know you don't believe that, right? <laughs> but anyway, you can get loans, you can have hedge funds, you can have other like different forms of money to all put together. That's what on paper he's telling you that he's worth. He may be worth more than that. We never know how much a dude is really worth. Some people are worth more than they say. Some people are worth less than they say. But you never know. If Bill Cosby obviously was inquiring about buying NBC. Apparently he either had the a group put together where he can purchase NBC or he had the money. So take that motherfucker. But nevertheless, real talk, how do you feel about R. Kelly's songs now? You know, can you listen to R. Kelly now and not feel a certain kind of way about him? I'm out.